Only after like seeing the thousands and thousands of customers actually use the tool day to day did we understand that there's actually a pain point here. You know, to really understand what sequential hypothesis testing is actually it's best to probably again just think from the perspective of someone who's using Optimizely for decision making. What that person is likely to want to do is to run an experiment and then look at the dashboard as it's running and see as soon as they get results that they think are important or meaningful or significant in some way, act on them. Well, if you think about what that might imply, it means that they're actually going to be looking at this test as it's running over time, which in classical hypothesis testing is a major no-no. You're supposed to wait until a predetermined sample size before you actually read off the results as being significant or insignificant. It became apparent that using, that setting a sample size in advance was unnecessarily restrictive. What that meant was that Optimizely saw that customers were stopping tests much early than a sample size calculator would suggest they should. The issue really comes up when um, the behavior, the expectations don't match up with that model. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with that model. It just means that we should take into account what we know about how users want to and are using the platform and adjust the statistical calculations to reflect that better. If you're driving a manual car, there's a lot of things that you have to think about. You have to think about pulling the clutch, you have to think about which gear you're in, you have to think about well, stalling the car, which is probably a very bad thing if you're driving up the streets of San Francisco. But um, if you're in an automatic car, that's all that stuff kind of goes out the window and you can instead think about a lot of other things such as where you're actually going. And um, that is actually a, a really good analogy for what the stats engine is because it sort of gets a lot of the statistical worry out of the way in order to allow the, the customer, the marketer, the business to um, think about where they want to go. Every, every single day, like what, what someone does is they run an experiment, they look at results and they have to make a decision on that, on that, on that result. Uh, and what we realize is like how important it is that you make, you make decisions that are statistically sound um, because if you don't, that has meaningful business impact. Really, that's the biggest change inside the Stats Engine, is the ability to allow you to continuously monitor what's happening inside of a test and benefit from the fact that there's this rich stream of data coming in to get actionable results more quickly. It's the job of statisticians here optimizely to, to dissect that data and give you statistical significance that you can trust. The rest is up to you.